1011 WJRR Orlando's Rock Station. It's Lynch and Taco Show. We're, uh, we're getting set to tech it out. Before we do that, though, Taco Bob, I, I think we heard three Seether songs in a row in that set of music. I know we did, which means caller 10, I'm pointing right now. This line here? Is going to be going somewhere. To the uh, For the Super Thursday prize giveaway, um, caller 10. Hey, good morning. Who's this? This is Rob. Rob! How's your Thursday going, Rob? I believe it just got a hell of a lot better. Dude, you are your caller 10. You're going to Earth Day Birthday VIP style for uh, being on your toes here in those three Seether tunes in a row. Um, so so you, you're all set, buddy. Now you just got to figure out who you're going to bring with you. Uh, I think I'm locked in on that one. Okay. All right. <laughs> Do us enough. a favor. Hold on the line for a minute, okay, Rob? Yeah. Yes, sir. Stand by. We'll get his info here. Talk. We'll let him sit on hold. You ready to jump into some uh, some technology news? Gonna check it out. Oh, you know, um, if you're bummed because you didn't win this go around tonight, we've got five pair of birthday birthday tickets to give away ahead of Thursday night football. Yep, we're gonna be out at Mulligans on Wakiva Springs Road in Longwood, starting at six, six to eight tonight. Five pair of birthday birthday tickets will be given away on site. Plus, uh. Ice cold bucket specials while we're out there. Mulligans on Wakata Springs Road. Good hang there. And a damn good uh, Thursday night game. Uh, Bengals and the Ravens. All right. Uh, some tech news here. Uh, Taco, I don't know if you've ever seen these. Have you ever seen a Spotify tattoo? I, I knocked on wood because somebody texted in earlier and said, man, every time we think it's going to be a great Thursday, it's a dud. Tonight's not going to be a dud. We're having a good time out there. Um, a Spotify tattoo. Yeah, you can get a Spotify tattoo. If you've got a favorite song, a sentimental song that's important to you, and it's that important, you can put the Spotify uh, song code in tattoo form on your body and scan it, and your device will play that song. Yeah, It looks like that. Oh, okay, I mean, yeah, yeah, I've seen that. People are now starting to report that their Spotify tattoos are failing after uh, having them for a few years because your skin starts to stretch a little, <laughs> wrinkle, the ink starts maybe. to fade, some ri- just passing it along. If you have a Spotify tattoo, if the if your code is still working, that's great, but just no chances are it's probably not going to at some point. No song is good enough to tattoo it on me. Hey, what's that tattoo? You? Oh, it's a long story. Mm-hmm. I'd play the song for you, but oh, it doesn't work anymore. Grand Theft Auto 6 is uh, expected to be the most expensive video game ever. This, uh, after some, well, not so subtle hints dropped by the Take-Two Interactive CEO, Strauss Zelnick. He expressed his belief that the game should be, quote, priced on a per-hour basis. Uh, there, that doesn't necessarily mean that's going to happen, but Zelnick clearly believes that game pricing currently leaves a great deal of money on the table, and therefore don't be shocked if the price tag for the upcoming GTA 6 release doesn't reflect that. Uh, as has been the case for the last few years since Apple TV now owns the rights to the uh, Charlie Brown Thanksgiving show, uh, that's really the only way to see it, and even if you don't have Apple TV+, Plus, they'll let you watch it this weekend. Uh, of course, you'll have to click the link for the seven-day free trial, uh-huh. which they're hoping you'll forget to cancel. I'm, I, I don't really think that that special matters that much to me. Uh, yeah, I've, you know, <laughs> I, I think we even have a DVD of that somewhere. Yeah, I, I really um, just just text or email lunch to let you borrow it. Right. Yes. The uh, nineteen hundred dollar children's Tesla Cyber Quad. Is on sale again. Uh, it's it's less likely to injure your children this go around. Remember the uh, Cyber Quad. It's a rideable vehicle, which is kind of based on the Cyber Truck from Tesla. Yeah, yeah. Um, it, it was the first one that came out was recalled because well, the, the the Consumer Product Safety Commission had some issues with it. the The new one is out. It, they've implemented some safety protocols, and hopefully, it won't maim your children if you're willing to drop nineteen hundred dollars on this. Uh, battery powered device that uh, 500 watt motor with a max speed of 10 miles per hour with an estimated range of 15 miles. It's not meant to be take off road. It, it looks like an off road. It you looks know, like a banana. No, it's just you can cruise around, you know, whatever. $1,900. God. Uh, if you uh, subscribe to YouTube Premium, not YouTube TV, Taco, just YouTube Premium. Okay. Uh, they have. Uh, Offered something new uh, that I think most of the subscribers there will be pleased with. 
Uh, they've increased the bit rate to 1080p for all premium subscribers. They started rolling this out a while ago, but now it's uh, going to be available for all who, uh, you know, are a, a subscriber to the YouTube premium service. They've also been rolling out some other enhancements there. So, I mean, a lot of people don't see the sense in um, paying the money for that. But if you do, you're getting a little more bang for your buck. Lawmakers are now questioning Apple over the cancellation of John Stewart's show. We told you about this a few weeks ago. The John Stewart's Apple show, uh, they th- agreed to go their own ways, and um, Stewart insinuated that it was because of his uh, planned content that was coming up that had to do with AI and China, mm. two things that uh, Apple has keen interest in. Yeah, and uh, I guess they weren't real happy with some of the things that uh, John was going to. Uh, have to say about China, and uh, well, his- let's agree to uh, part ways. House members wrote, and this is a bipartisan move. They want to drill in here and see what's going on. They say, you know, obviously Apple has the right to determine what content it deems appropriate for its platform, but the coercive tactics of a foreign power should not be directly or indirectly influencing these determinations. So we'll see what they're able to uncover in that. Uh, committee that'll be coming up. There's a, a startup out of Australia called Refilled. Refilled. They have uh, started this company after news uh, out of Australia that their goal of recycling 70% of all plastics yeah. was falling woefully short at uh, 18%. They uh, had hoped to be at 70% by 2025. They're only at 18%. 18. 18% of plastics are being recycled. The rest are, you know, landfill city or just thrown away your period refilled has come up with what they hope will be a way to save on some plastic bottles you know the coca-cola freestyle machines that yeah. you see in uh, yeah. so many uh you know fast restaurants and stuff where you can have your own whatever mixture of coke based products uh think that but for water sparkling water flavored water caffeinated water you go up to the machine you whatever it is and you put your already used bottle and refill it with your choice of refill i don't think this is going to do well no i mean where are these refill machines that they're going to be putting them in gyms and places like that and where people would you know consume a lot of water okay. i just i just don't know if, it doesn't really jump out at me i don't know if that's going to get them from to that 70 percent mark uh-uh. anyway new uh, entry into the oled television market sharp is now offering oled screens with the roku operating system which will be the first oled screen that comes with the roku's smart tv system uh sharp known for you know more of a budget price line of tvs not so much so with these they're priced uh just a little bit less like maybe by a hundred bucks over some of the models from samsung and lg oh really so i mean if, if you're looking for to get an oled and you've been waiting for a roku smart system paired with it Sharp is now offering that, starting at $1,200. And finally, there's this. Uh, Pluto TV, if you have that app, it's actually a pretty good app to have hundreds of channels with all sorts of you know classic shows and uh, dedicated channels and whatnot. They've rolled out a new one, a 24-7 car chase channel. <laughs> they will join car chases in progress live i think they're a little late to the game and then no they're, they're, they'll be they've got so many channels one more isn't gonna hurt yeah they'll be they'll find a, a subset of people who are all about sitting there watching car chases and classic car chases oh yeah of course so anyway i know it this is the embankment that he's gonna crash into i can feel it there you honey <laughs> stop talking he's getting ready to crash he's gonna get out and run he's gonna get out and run out there to let the dog go JRR On Demand. Download the iHeartRadio app.